All right, so I think we're going to get a game against Sir Smokes here. Uh, last game was exhausting, I think. Probably played my best game of the tournament. And uh, hopefully hopefully this one we can follow up that, that energy. Uh, Sir Smokes has informed me he will be telling us about Fulham. So if you're wondering, how is Fulham doing on December 3rd, midway through their current game against Bournemouth? This is the video for you. And I know this is coming out like January something, but... Still. Alright, so we've learned so far uh, that we're on first turn, but also that, uh, that Lewandowski should have won the Ballon d'Or. Alright, directional weaknesses. They have those 7-7 seven, seven corners for 9, which makes it easier for them to have a weakness. But it looks like they basically have cards for every corner except 3, and only one corner for 1. So definitely a potential down weakness for them. My hand... Not too exciting. Hmm... Six, seven, two, eight, and nine, they can just take. I don't have a great setup in two. I do have a setup, but it's not a good one. Because if I set up seven, eight, seven, one to go in five, I set them up for eight. So okay, that kind of idea is kind of nonsensical. I could just go eight, but I don't quite have enough off power, I think. Um, yeah. But I do want to give them difficulties in those directions. What if I went six, seven, two, eight, and seven? That looks annoying. That looks annoying. If they take it immediately with five, eight, seven, five, I can play seven, eight, seven, one, and one. They cannot take it from eight. How can they set up against eight? If they go nine, I just make the game. I just make the game facing downward, and I really don't think they want that. Also, 2758 in that case would be a better card than it looks right now because it can sweep their upward sevens. And that's another benefit of starting low on the board. Um, um, what else? Can they do they have a nice setup in five? Doesn't really look like it. The important thing on a setup in five is not only that they create a threat in eight. So for instance, if they played, um, say, seven, four, three, seven, and five, setting up eight, seven, three, four, and eight, and I went eight, and let's say they were obliged, though they're not, to go in four after that, with their capture five five eight seven, if their move in five could set them up to stop me replying with seven eight seven one and one, then it would be really good. But I don't think they can. So I think this is directionally just a little annoying for them, and that's what we try to do. Maybe a lot annoying. Yevon has told me to sign up for his World Cup, so I am signing up with a message under no duress from anyone. I am signing up of my own free will. In the meantime, I think their hands, his hand's pretty poor. I worry my hand is sort of... Each card can do one thing, except 7871, and that, like, that's going to end up a little unpleasant for me. Hopefully that didn't make too loud a noise. Um, but I think this is a, a good spot to be in. All right, they play the adjacent corner, and they can recapture 
But they do still have a down weakness. And I know if I go in eight, if I go in eight, I don't think they have an L that can set them up well in five. Ah, no, they do. Um, I was thinking if they were had to set up the card five eight seven five in five, um, then I have the, I can combo back in four, which I can. And then I was for some reason thinking about eight one eight three and eight. Oh, sorry, six five six six and eight. I was thinking, I, uh, what am I saying? I think I want to go eight one eight three and eight. And my point is, if five five eight seven and four, I can play either the combo in five or just seven eight seven one in one. I probably don't have to play somewhere else. Um, and if they play in six, however, they do set up in five. That was the problem with that move. So then I switched over to six five six six and eight. Right, that's important because it captures. If they capture back with seven, three, five, seven in six, which I think is the standard capture back, um, I think I can play in three because five, five, eight, seven, and five, I combo back with seven, eight, seven, one, and four. And six, five, six, six, and eight has the nice benefit of it takes a card, which means they're sort of obliged to try to take back. If they go immediately five, eight, seven, five, and four, the other way to set up an L, ooh, they do threaten five there. So I might have to block five, and I don't really want to block five there. Do I have a way to avoid blocking five? Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. If I block five, okay, let's say I block five. Um, say with 8381, it's 5-5 five, five there. If they go in one, oh, but they have, they've used 5875. So if they go in one, I can then play in six. They'll have no captures and 2758 will be a sufficient sweeper. Sorry, if they play in one, not six. If they play in six after I block five, they have to do it with a seven up. I think that's promising for me. They might be able to have a big setup in three. There might be a problem in three. But if there is, it is difficult to see that far away. So my line is six five six six eight five eight seven five four eight one eight three five, and they play seven three five seven three. That's the only way they can set up a threatened two. I think there I have to block two, but nicely for me. I don't have to block two. I don't have to block two. I can play. 2758 in 6, they play 7664 and 2, comboing everything, but 7871 and 1 at the end combos back. Alright. I think this is promising. And. Alright, signed up for the Evans World Cup. Maybe I'll record that one. That seems like it'll be fun. Um, some people have some crazy steps on that one. Could be a, could be exhausting, but you know it'll be fun to do different steps. And this game, I got another first turn. Man, I've had a lot of first turns. So six, seven, two, eight, and seven. 
eight, seven, three, four, nine, six, five, six, six, eight is the current position. We are ready to send that in for a game as well. Triple try it's tough. I sometimes think when I haven't like played for a little, because I've been mostly playing chess of recent, haven't had time for the longer games of Triple Triad, because I just like play a few chess bullet games and it's much quicker. Um, is that Triple Triad is just so few moves for a game, right? There's so few moves to play. Like if you're on second turn, you basically have to make three good moves and that's it, because the eighth move is just calculation. And so it should be it should be very, um, should be basically you play a three move game and the whole game's over and that's so quick and so little time to outplay someone or miss things. But also it's just such complex decisions with long variations that it's like just three super critical positions in a row. And that makes it really interesting and it's so easy to fold or find advantage because the three positions are so critical. I didn't consider 5, 8, 7, 5, and 5. That could be a good move. I don't think it is, because I think I just play 7, 8, 7, 1, and 4. I think I did actually consider that, and it is not a good move. So ignore that one. Um, okay. Um, here, my point was 8, 1, 8, 3, and 5. I thought this was the critical line. thought this was the critical line. Did I miscount it? I may have miscounted it. Because um, they can go 6. They will be up 7-3, not 6-4. Um, and... Ooh, but then... Yeah, no, then I think I'm okay. Then I think I'm in good shape. Because I play 27583. I planned to play 78711 there, but I think that was a miscalculation. I play 27583. Yeah, I combo back everything. No, I did see this. Okay, okay. What am I what am I doing? So I think I have to block five. I think the threatened five is too significant. But with all their sevens up, they can never really go in six. Yes, yes, no, I did see this. This was my main line. What am I doing? So distracted. Um, my point was 8, 1, 8, 3, and 5, 7, 3, 5, 7, and 6. I combo in 3, they combo in 2, and I have the plus and 1 at the end. This was the main line I saw, and then it escaped me. And I thought the main move, if I go... Let's put the card down, don't want to misclick. If I go 5, I thought the, the best try was probably 3, trying to set up... Um, seven, four, three, seven to go in two. But there actually I can hold on to two, seven, five, eight, which combos back, or I can maybe block one of the squares because they've given up their threat in six. But I think I, I combo back there. So I think it's eight, one, eight, three, and five. And I think this wins. And if it doesn't, Never thought it did. <laughs> I do think it does, though. I think this is a weird position because in some ways he had everything you want out of an L, which is to say he secured a card, and I'm not comboing it back, at least not soon. Um, he has a he can recapture the far thing, right? There are cards in when the L set up four, seven, eight, nine. He has a threat on the card in nine. He has the same in five. I have nothing good for five. He has a recapture in one if needed that cannot be comboed back. Um, you know, there's a bunch of things here, but in the end, he has three sevens up. And one of the things I pointed out at the start was two, seven, five, eight. If the cards play out right, can really run the game, and here it just controls six so well. And it also just sweeps the top row, because my main idea against a move in one is to go in six. But yes, I have miscalculated again, because they can block one with seven, six, six, four, 
and that is a tie. Ah, I missed it. Shucks. Because they have 7357 for 2. And I don't have any way to set up against that, so I have to block 2 myself with 7871. They then have to go 3. Ah, I missed this. Alright, I should have spent longer before playing 5. Oh well, Smokes is a good player. Specifically, he must do it with 7664 and 1, because it sets up 7357. And I'd checked 3, and I'd checked 6, and I thought I had checked 1, but clearly not quite well enough. Because my idea of 7871 and 6, and then 2758 sweeps is a very nice idea. Um, and it works if, if the combo he was setting up from 1 and 2 was with 7437, it would still maybe sweep enough. Yeah, it would sweep enough. But here, it doesn't quite... Hmm. All right. So I think didn't quite manage a win here. Maybe there was a way to. Now I'm feeling there probably wasn't, but could be wrong. Again, didn't check other possibilities, but I thought I had to block five. And I think the other cards were so powerful, it was unlikely I was going to want to use them. Um, there's a case that 7, 8, 7, 1, and 5 would work. Because they can't set up the same way in 1. I still punish... I still punish... three, uh, 6 moves with 3, and there's no combo there for them. So maybe 7871 was the way to do it. Maybe that worked. 3 is pretty scary there, though, actually. 3 is pretty scary. And I don't have the combos back. Ooh, but maybe I do. Because 8183 had the combo in 1, which I just missed this entire game. So actually, maybe I just missed 7871 and 5. Okay, he's picked up what I think is the wrong card. Yeah, I thought this was wrong because I combo back. Yeah, so okay, I think I got lucky after probably putting the wrong card in five. I missed 8183 hit the threat in one. That makes 7871 and five a lot stronger because it gives me this big threat in one. And if they block one, I could then play 8183 in six. And 2758 is going to be a side to side sweeper, but it's not good enough because they play 7357 seven, and 3. They flip, hmm. They flip 6. They only need to flip the one card because I only flip back one because 2758 doesn't take it. So I don't think I missed a win. Alright. Anyways, uh, the point now is I can go 7871 seven, and 6. And I think I did get gifted a win here. Which was the line I had checked, you know, good for me, but I, I did miss. I did miss a tie. I didn't, I didn't see this beautifully the whole way. Puts me up 6-4, they combo things, but because I combo 5-8-7-5, everything combos back. Yeah. All right. Snuck out another one that this one maybe not so deserved, but I don't think I played badly. I don't now I don't think I had a better move in five. I think my move in eight was pretty good, that a lot of the L's were bad, and even this L gave them only one path to a tie, I think. And a non obvious one, given that Smokes missed it and I missed it at a distance, and I'm wondering now if I'm just wrong if it didn't work, but I do think it worked. I do think it worked. All right, Smokes always goes out in style. Props. Yeah. Oh, he said it in the things. Oh, my bad. I didn't read. All right, Solanke should have scored. Burn myth fighting back. Bournemouth fighting back. Bournemouth are messing about, trying to play out from the back. 
They're sadly not good enough to do this. Fulham are looking for the mistake. Burn Myth are going in hard here, another yellow. I also don't like your starter, for what it's worth. Allowing me the PN5 with 5587 and 7437, only to have it also fit your 6566. It's mean, just like that last ta latest tackle. Incorrect offside against Fulham. We deserve better out here. 37 minutes, 0, zero 1, uh, what CCC stand for? It's clear cut chance, 1 CCC each. Fulham denied a clear penalty. We were denied a clear penalty? Disgusting. Really abusing my inability to take sixes up here other than with one card. The commentator has said temperature is rising. I hear the temperature is rising I'm going to send. And I'm going to spell temperature wrong. We got it. Alright. Um, off the line! Exclam! 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 Thirteen shots to four. Sounds to me Fulham are about to concede. The ref is being a bit of a twat, and I got the 9-1. Did get the 9-1. Good game, Smokes. Uh, thanks for the recap. Really a shame I didn't read it during the match, because I obviously should have. Uh, it was clearly the most entertaining part of this game, and uh, good game to Smokes. We learned a lot about Fulham. Uh, whenever you're watching this video, you should, if you are a true hero, you should go back and check what happened in Fulham Bournemouth. I am now very invested in this match. And uh, cheers. A fun... A fun chat. Shame I uh, forgot there was a chat in-game. Alright. Cheers.